Your Lord is speaking to you today. A gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. A divine entity in heaven is writing your name down. You did hear correctly. Just keep in mind that it's all a part of the process. However, those who put their faith in the Lord will find new strength. They'll soar on eagle-like wings. They will run without becoming tired. They won't pass out while walking. Don't concern yourself with what other people are doing. Even if your daily schedule may become hectic, God and his heavenly angels are constantly keeping an eye on you. Your name comes up frequently in their conversations, and this time, they have your name on the list for a lofty heavenly reason. This is an exceptional honor that signifies you have been picked for a certain task. God is arranging things in your favor right now. Your angels want you to know it serves as a reminder that you are significant, valuable, and utterly appreciated. It's time to accept this heavenly appointment seriously because it is one. Have you ever questioned what you meant to do? What is your mission here on earth? You may stop wondering now that your life's purpose and mission have been made clear to you. God will arrange the marriage of your dreams, but it won't be through your efforts. It will be through God's grace. Don't give up. You're being prayed for by someone, and you can get through this. God is supporting you. God isn't expecting you to understand. He's pleading with you to believe that he already does. No more failures, no more anxiety, no more feeling insecure, and no more second guessing. I vouch for my total assurance. This is your assurance that you are entering totally, not half, into God's intention for your life. You are progressing to the following level. You have been chosen to change this planet, to dispel the darkness, and to spread kindness and love everywhere you go. How can I make a difference? How on earth can I possibly change the world when I can't even get ants to mate? You may be asking yourself, how can I make a difference if I don't have the means, tools, or assistance? These are legitimate worries that a lot of individuals have when considering their ability to change the world. But let me tell you, my dear buddy, that your challenges have put you in a position unlike anyone else's to make a difference in this world. Your challenges and struggles have given you a special perspective that enabled you to view the world differently than others. It is because of your unmatched perseverance and strength that you are so unique. In the name of Jesus, Amen. It's your turn. You have been asking God to send you this sign. Your health, finances, relationships, and family are all going to be fine. Good news, God will help you stand up for the best. In addition, the Heavenly One in Heaven, who has included your name for a particular reason, is fully aware of your difficulties and limits. Imagine, you are going to experience a quantum leap in your mental, spiritual, and financial experiences. Type, yes, if you believe in God. God bless you.